heavyweight championship. Here they are in the ring, receiving instructions from the referee. Here they are shaking hands, and now they're going back to their respective court. Melling is still crowding him with his overhand. Left hook to the chin and a short right to the jaw. Start the court, Melling with a right on the chin. Here they are, Cody, to up a clear across the ring. Melling once more crowns his man to the ropes and bobs and weeds. Stand up finding it hard to reach him as to what is likely to happen. Here they are trading right to the chin, stacking at the gladiators as they continue to pound each other all around the ring and around that was thrilling. Uh, Melling clipped his man with a hard right on the jaw, tried to let go right on the head. Bang! There they are. It's Melling, just like his counterpart, Jack Dempsey, anxious to get going again. His seconds continue to rub his arms, legs, and hello! Melling comes out with a rush. He's in the center of the ring before his follower and having a hold. Fortigee's uh, trying to left in the face, misses. Smelling sent him back with a stiff look to the mouth. Fortigee's again tries to left of the chin, misses. And Smelling is still bobbing and whizzing, coming in close, short and somewhere to left of the face. Trying to try to right to the chin, another right, missed both punches. And Smelling tipped him with a left and right on the jaw. Smelling still bobs and weaves and lets the punches of the falling go around his head. Smelling all happy. Smelling pours in again. He works the left to his opponent's body. Santa tears in a little bit clumsily at his foe. Then maneuver offsetting the wild attacks of his opponent. Smelling just let go left and right with his opponent's chin. And in close, they both found the move. There's the Van Sweet out of Smelling that just saw a second ago. She's still with Max just the same. There they are trading right to the chin. Smelling in close, pounding the body. And here the Smelling folks just tearing him with everything they got. Here they are continuing to find their wares. For the end of the second round. And still, it's a question of which one will eventually win. Although it appears that Max continues to hold the upper hand during the last half of that round. Anyhow, here's the German Dempsey in his corner now. His seconds are working very obliquely, while the Portuguese, just a little bit worried, is reclining on his so There goes Smelling up a little bit early. He turns towards his pole, and the Portuguese comes rushing in again, flying him with left and right on the chin. Another left to Smelling's mouth. Now Max tears him furiously. He didn't seem to have that strength where he got from, we don't know, but he turns back on him. There he goes left and right to stand his chin, and another right alongside the stand of his jaw, and to the body of the boat, railing away, with Smelling having the upper hand again. Here's Santa trying to land on his approaches. Our falling elusive head, but a little bit wild in his delivery, and Smelling comes him left and right in the chin of knockdown. Actually, had the better of the round with his great attack in the last minute of a half. There's the fighting face of Smelling. Look at him. He's just ready to tear right in and end the battle as fast as he can. He certainly is the counterpart of Dempsey. There's no question about him. Look at him like a tiger. He's ready to leap from the beginning in the fourth round. Smelling comes in, boring in. Trying to miss the left leap for the head. Smelling gets in close. Found the body with both hands. He's trying to get the big man set for the whole knockdown there. He tipped him with the left on the chin and down when Santa was swooning. He gets up again and again. Smelling tears in. Found the body with both hands. And now he shoots a left to Santa's face. Santa wild with both hands to the chin and in close. Smelling following the body with both hands. He crowds Santa clear around the ring from one side to the other. And Lee, as Santa is dropped for the second time, he's taking the count again. Up right now, he gets up. Smelling is going in the face of his hand, but the round is coming near to a close. Smelling is still working very fast with the ass up. We don't know. He tipped his man with a left and right to Santa's jaw. Santa came in with a short right to the body. And now, for the end of the fourth round, and now everybody starts to feel that it's going to be a smelling victory. Santa a little bit dubious and worried. There he is, ready. Don't care whether he's going home or whether he continues the battle, evidently. He's kind of worried now, but there's still a chance. There's always a chance for a man to get over the one punch. Waiting for the bell for the start of the fifth round of the set. Now, there it goes. There goes the bell. They're coming out for the fifth round. It's smelling bore in. He tore right in. He gets it close to the left and right of the body. And a right and left against Santa Jory pounds. The big boy on the ropes is left and right. And then left and right. And here is smelling still pounding him. Working hard. Very much like Dempsey did it. So at the leader against Jess Willard. Smelling still pounds the body with both hands. He's trying to measure man, he goes the right family are very happy. Here's Santa waiting to get up again to count of five. He gets up and he put a third knock out of the round. Here he is squirming. He says, everybody is happy. It's one of the greatest nights the old world ever had. And now he's smelling with singing the plaudits of the crowd. He walks over to stand hands with everybody around the ring. It's the happiest moment of the German Dempsey's life. As he takes a look, notice the score. Walks over to Santa and says, here you are, my boy, for your great and glorious fight. Of course, Santa then smelling takes hands. In his first fight in America on July 21st, 1929, he met Johnny Risco, who had never before been counted out and scored a knockout in the ninth round.